Songbird, do you want to know more about how your voice works? Introducing Larry the Larynx. I made him myself. And behind the thyroid cartilage sits your larynx, your voice box, which inside that are your vocal folds. See those white string-like things there? They are representative of your vocal folds. And when they vibrate together, they make sound, which is what happens when you speak and when you sing. And the vocal folds are attached to these green little things here called the arytenoids. And it gets even juicier. See this pink muscle here? This is called the cricothyroid. This is the main muscle that activates when you sing in your head voice and when you sing higher. So what happens when you sing higher is this muscle contracts, which tilts the thyroid cartilage forward like this. And then if I actually cut my head off and you looked down and saw my throat, you would see that when the thyroid cartilage tilts, it actually stretches out and thins out my vocal folds, which is what helps me to sing high. When you're singing in chest voice, the thyroid cartilage doesn't tilt. It's only the thyroarytenoid muscle that is activated, which is the main muscle of the vocal fold, um, which means that your vocal folds stay short and thick which is what enables you to sing those low, warm, chest voice notes. When you eat or drink something, this uh, yellow flappy thing called the epiglottis folds over to prevent any food or drink from actually touching your vocal folds so that you don't choke. How cool is our larynx?